right, we're back. We're about to start moving. I need to make a U-turn, but I can't make a U-turn here, so I gotta go down and do a UB40 and come back that way. So, yeah, I can't make a U-turn. I'll be crunch-tastic, and I don't need to be crunch-tastic. I can make a U-turn here. As soon as I see the road. Yep, there we go. There we go. Yay! Yeah. Screw that shit. I don't know if you saw the, the picture of the road. Hey, you got him a K, KLR650. Now watch this. Watch this. When I drive past this, woo! Look at this freaking road. <laughs> looky looky look this is what Virginia roads are like right here look at this <laughs> screw that that's 95 north heading towards Woodbridge heading towards Washington DC wow no spank you nope no spank you we'll go up this way we're gonna head down Garrisonville we'll go down some more back roads how about that huh Let's do some backwards. I might turn the camera off and on a couple times if we get stuck in some lights because I don't want you sitting at the light with me. I want you going on the on the country road with me. You know? Let, let's have some country roads. Country roads, wreck my plane, smash myself to smithereens. Alright. Poor old John Denver. All because of a little uh that all happened because of a little valve. That they had behind the seat. It's supposed to be right up in front of him where he could get to it. And he ran out of fuel. He ran out of fuel. And he was falling and he tried to get to the uh, fuel. It's called a fuel petcock. It's a little switch. It's behind the seat and he was reaching behind the seat and he lost control of the plane and wrecked it. He killed himself. So. I think this light's about to change. I would turn you off, but I'm not going to turn you off right now. Like that Bronco. That's nice. Nice. All right. Well, we're back running again. I can't get. I can't get any. Uh, I can't get any sodas because I don't drink soda. Try not to drink soda. I will drink a regular Coke or a regular Pepsi. If it's like given to me, you know, but nothing, no, never, ever, never any diet sodas. I try not to buy Cokes. Um, lemonade, you got to be careful with. The, the Minute Maid lemonade, and they put sucralose in it. And they won't tell you. They won't tell you. And that's out of the vending machines. So here you are, you're drinking sucralose, and you're like going, gee, this is really sweet. Going, yeah. Just going into Garrisonville Road and down here. This is kind of a haphazard, uh, half-assed assortment of shops. But you know, there's all kinds of places to eat and stores to buy stuff at. And it's just kind of cool. It's just you know, whenever you see those places that everything's planned and it's real boring and you know, real sterile. And this is not that place. When you drive through here, you're like, going, oh, it looks like a slump. You're like, oh, no, not really. It has a little character, you know? And I like it. Anyway. All right, there we go. Go ahead, bud. Get into my lane. You can pass him. There you go. You got him. Like I said, I'm not in no hurry. I'm not trying to break no land speed records. We can get back out here in the Virginia farmland. And see us a little bit of Virginia farmland, a little bit of Virginia woods. I ain't got no intention of getting into no damn 20 mile backups on 95 North heading to DC today. No thank you. I got a tank full of uh, Shell Nitro Premium Gas, which cost me $50. But it's good to run that Shell Nitro gas about once every four tanks because it's got a bunch of cleaners in it. It'll clean your motor out. It's really, it's, it's really 
I gotta tell you, the shell gas is really something. And it's and ethanol is really bad for an engine. It really is. It's really bad. You know, I got a whole I got a whole bottle of water here. I got a whole bottle of water here. As you can see, nothing nothing spectacular here. I was thinking about going to that kebab halal place and get me a kebab with meat, potatoes, and whatever else they put on it. But I know it's you know they don't do pork. I don't think halal is anything they do with pork, which is fine. I got no problem with that. I take beef barbecue any day of the week, you know. This is just, you know, getting out, getting away from the house, just enjoying stuff, just enjoying the, the peace that we have here in America, that we can just go out and do what we want to do, and, you know, it's peaceful. We're coming up on some, uh, we got a big old cell tower up there, we got brand new businesses here on the left-hand side, we got... There's a school on the left-hand side. I got a, we passed by a post office back there a little bit. Um, got a McDonald's coming up. A little bunch of shopping malls. Stafford, Virginia. Here's a McDonald's. Just a nice little place to live. Nothing spectacular. And the problem that I have with going to speed limit is because uh, people like me drive up behind me <laughs> and they don't like it but the right lane as long as you stay in the right lane man you got you got the right to say look I'm in the right lane dude there you go listen to that old V8 fucker sounds good this thing is looping you got his brand new VF Goodriches on there that darn them tires must cost $300 each nice 6.5 liter turbo diesel. Hell to the yes. And he kept it stock. He kept it stock. Man, I love that. Why take a vehicle that has a wonderful, great big V8 diesel engine that stock it would run a, a half a million miles? All you got to do is change the oil in it. Run a half a million miles. And put good diesel fuel in it, obviously. And then you're going to take and put chips in it, and air boxes, and exhaust, and big old, uh, you know, fogger units in it. So you stomp on the gas, there comes a whole bunch of black clouds. And all that does is makes people hate diesels. And, you know, diesels are wonderful. The diesels of today are nothing like the diesels of yesterday. The diesels of today uses a fuel called D uh, DEF. It's digital emissions fluid. Uh, digital. Uh, diesel emissions fluid. And uh, what it does is they've got a catalyst, a very high temperature catalyst. And when the exhaust comes out of the engine, they spray this DEF fluid in there with that diesel fluid, uh, fuel. Diesel emissions that's been burnt. And it, it continues the uh, uh, burning of the fluid. So nothing comes out the exhaust pipe. It's really nice. I mean, I I drove 24 foot trucks with those engines on them, and you could sit right next to them and let them run, and they would never. You, I mean, you didn't get sick. You 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 didn't get uh, you know. Back in the old days with diesels, they always had emissions, some kind of emissions. As a matter of fact, if they weren't putting out at least a little bit of emissions, you were worried if it was running right because you want to run a little bit rich. You want them to run, because uh, you know, the diesel fuel uh, is the power, but it's also part of the coolant, you know. You don't want it to run uh, lean. So, anyway, we're just heading across into the, into the woods here. I'm going to probably go over to Route 17 and come home, because I don't want to make this into a whole extra long video. But I did want you to see a little bit of the world. Because I want to see a little bit of the world. Because, you know, last time I came through here, well, I don't, I think, I'm pretty sure I've been through here since my wife passed away. But it's, uh, it's a pretty cool place, actually. I 
got some people that are in a hurry behind me, so I'm going to let them go. There's one, there's two, and there's three. There we go, and that's me. That white truck up there was really wanting to get crawl up my butt, and this guy here with this Mazda, he's sort of keying on that white truck, so I don't need it. This, is, this looks brand new. What the hell is this? Is this a park? This is a park. They just put this in. Yeah, it's a park. Looks like. Cool. And we're heading back into the woods of Virginia here, just chilling out, looking at the roads and stuff. Ooh, nice truck. Nice Ford. Rockville VFD for sale. Yeah. If you can afford a vehicle that gets five miles to the gallon on. I doubt if it runs premium. It, might, it probably runs decent. But that's a heavy, 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 heavy duty truck. That's like a, a Ford uh, one ton plus, whatever that is. Because I can see the suspension on it. That's a really, that's for when they're carrying all their equipment and stuff. That's actually one of those um, trucks that they use for like forest fires, you know, for blasting trails back to where the forest fire is. Guys, I got, well, I got my light. No, I don't. Now I got my lights on. Okay. I think we can turn the heat down. I don't think I need to turn the heat on. But, uh, nice place. Nothing special, you know. I mean, it, it, it's special to me because I grew up here. These roads, I gotta say, I was not, <laughs> I was not a good child when it came to driving. I was not a good child when it came to driving. No, I wasn't. I was not very well behaved. So, anyway. This is Quantico Marine Base on the right hand side here and it goes for like five miles. And the thing you need to understand about a place like this is if you decide to pull over the side of the road or in one of their roads, he said, hey, let me go walk up back here and see how the hunting is. Or let me see, you know, what's back here. You are trespassing on federal property. And you are eligible to be arrested right away. You don't see any sign here, do you? That's right. But you're supposed to know. Everything on the right-hand side here is, is uh, in certain parts of this, is going to go marine base. I'm going to take a... Uh, well, maybe I won't. Let's go on up this road a little bit. This gets kind of cool. I kind of like this road. Uh-oh, got a detour. There we go. What's the detour? South 644. Oh, no, they're just showing you where the intersection is. This is uh, one of the most popular intersections on this road right here, taking a left. Well, not this one. Duh. Not that one. We're coming up on it. Man, I'll tell you, this road, when you get on it and you're trying to get home, this thing takes, this goes on, goes on forever and ever and ever and ever. Wow, my man got his uh, grass cutting, John Deere grass cutting. They got a, a four blade assembly out there. Probably wants, you know, $6,000, $7,000 for it. Turn left, I don't want to go straight. I don't want to turn left, I don't want to go straight. I guess I'll. Again, we're not turning left here anyway. There's 7 Eleven on the left hand side, it's pretty popular. These back roads of 7 Eleven put their little stores on, man, that was genius. But the bad thing is, Every place you put a 7-Eleven, Sheets comes in and puts one across the street. Ah, kills me. Sheets of Wawa. I wish I could get a motorcycle. But I swear, I absolutely do not want to lose my legs. I do not want to get my legs broken. I do 
not want to get my back broken. I do not want to be in a wheelchair. And motorcycles are very apt for that to happen because people don't see them for one, and for two, some people just hate them. People, some people think that motorcycle riders are out there just to piss people off, and some of them are. It's actually not a, it's not a, uh, it's not a stupid thing to think. But the bitch of it is this: you get this motorcycle wearing a black suit, driving a sport bike, and he goes blasting past. He scares the living shit out of you. Makes you so mad you can't see straight. Then you get up on this guy driving a Harley in the right lane, doing the speed limit, and you cut him off. Like, you, what, why did you do that? You shouldn't have done that. Damn it, we missed, we missed the turn. I was going to point that turn out, that left turn out. Or did we? No, we didn't miss it yet. But so you you wind up taking it out on the guy who had nothing to do with the offense. Because the guy who's cutting through traffic at 100 miles an hour, he's gone. And the guy who's on the Harley, he's just chilling. He listening to that good old V-Twin sing a song. Thinking about his buddies, maybe going home to his wife and kids. He's just chilling. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I was sitting on, uh, I've been looking at motorcycles ever since my wife, before my wife died. And I wish I'd have bought one because I'd have saved myself about $100,000. I could have gone out on a, spent the money on a motorcycle, a brand new one, and just going out cruising every day. Doing what this right here, buy me a, uh, uh, what the hell you call them phones? Jeez, Christmas, not phones, but cameras. The, uh, holy crap, I can't remember it. Wow. Not the damn iPhone. What the hell is it? Do, 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 I can't remember what the hell I was thinking. Um, Not iPhones, not iPhones. Um, what the hell is it? It's making me mad. Somebody turning on to the. Oh, uh, you got Pennsylvania tags. He's turning on to the Quantico Marine Base. He's just getting out of my way, I think, which is pretty cool. let the world, you know, see what I'm doing. And uh, thanks to this police officer and the thing that he went through, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna take that chance. Um, right now, I gotta slow down some. I gotta let this, I gotta let these people go. I'm, a, I'm out here for a nice cruise. I'm not out here to break the land speed record. There's a church up here on the right-hand side. I'll pull over and let this lady go. 
she's got to pur up her ass to get on down the road. That's a pretty cool place right here. This is one of the places I was telling you about. This is that road I was telling you about about when I went home. Um, then it would get cool. Then it would get, get like 20 degrees cooler. Let's see, it should be right up here. Where is this church that I got turned into? No, nope, I got a little bit more farther to go. Damn it. But uh, yeah, I want to let these four people go and I'll get back on the road here and just chill out. I'm not trying to break the land speed record here. I'm trying to get. Here we go. Here it comes. Here comes the church. Okay, now these people can all go. There you go. Hey, y'all are free. You're free. Well, I gotta get a better uh, weight situation on this tripod. All right, here we go. We're back out. No traffic. Great. I let them fight it out. Fight it out, people. See, we still got a, a road to look at here. Looks pretty good. Alright, cool. Yeah, I gotta put better weights on it. I got I got all kinds of weights I can put on them legs. I got some uh, I got some barbells in the house and a kid I can just bring the barbells out and lay it across the uh, side support. This is beautiful land right here. It's a nice field right there, nice and green, perfect. I was bringing my wife home one day, coming down this way back when we were still working. And there was one of these farm fields on the um, left-hand side here, and they had a herd. It was an absolute herd of deer. It was, this is a little, I wish I could show you this. This a guy put a little, uh, he put a little bridge in there with his pond, and he put this little figurine of a guy, of a little kid sitting there with his fishing pole, and then he, then, one time he put a little uh, statue of a little girl sitting next to him too. Like it was him and his girlfriend sitting there fishing at the, at the pond. But it was at least 50 deer. And I just could not believe uh, what I was seeing. And something scared them and they ran from the left side of the road that you see here across this road and I just got in front of them. I had, uh, we were driving, I was driving a 99 Honda Accord at the time and uh, I whipped around the first deer that jumped into the road uh, and he just touched the back of the car and it didn't bend it or nothing. It didn't hurt himself and he just kept on going. But it was the most beautiful herd of deer I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen anything like that before or since. I've seen a lot of deer, but I've never seen that many deer at one time in a mass. That was literally 50 deer. It was amazing to watch. It's like those um, um, nature films where you watch them and, uh, and you see the, the animals, they jump up and it looks like a wave. It's cool as, cool as blazes looking. And, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool.